Plays ahead to Ferreira. Our referee points to midfield. And the 2023 season has come to an end for the LA Galaxy as FC Dallas puts on four in the first half for a 4-1 victory. Honestly, like a, just a lot of emotions today. Uh, it's been a it's been a challenging year. Uh, yeah, I think last season was a good example of what we don't want to have happen again. You know, last season, while it didn't end the way we wanted it to, it did afford us a little more time to uh, plan, scout, and begin negotiation with players. So we feel better prepared for the start of the season with the extra time that we had. I'll blow one whistle at two minutes, which means halfway. And my second whistle will be double whistle, four minutes. Rest, you got eight minutes to recover. And we're gonna do the same run for two minutes. The energy is, is one of excitement. You know, the vibes right now are, are really high. I think people are excited to show the world that last year was an aberration and that we're going to be coming back stronger and bringing the Galaxy to the heights of the league that we used to occupy. The single most important thing for our group is that last year it goes into the rearview mirror and we're really focused on who we're going to be now, our process, uh, getting everybody back on the field, the guys who are still recovering from injuries, the new guys coming in and connecting this group. And last year was a set of circumstances that were unique for anyone. Uh, we have to just understand that and move on so that this year our mentality is, is all about this particular group and this season and this, uh, this journey that we're about to embark on as a group to be successful this year. Our primary focus in the off season has been on improving the roster as it always is. And one of the key areas we wanted to address was depth. And so adding some veteran leadership across the club, whether that's a left back like John Nelson, uh, a forward like Miguel Berry, or a goalkeeper like John McCarthy has been uh, something we're really excited about. Uh, you know, we're adding Miki Yamane, a very successful uh, right back from Japan who's played with Maya Yoshida, the national team. Peck, first and foremost, is a great profile fit for the types of players that we're looking to add. He's a dynamic attacking winger who has had a very strong career at a young age in Brazil, which is a very competitive league. We like his competitiveness, his character, his ability to score goals and work hard for the group. But we are really thrilled to have Gabriel choose the Galaxy as the next place to start his career, and we're excited to see what he brings to the MLS. So very excited about having some more depth and some more high-end attacking pieces. Okay, so appreciate the effort. Welcome, it's, it's go time. Okay. Anything by, anything for the group? No? All right, good stuff, guys. Get whatever you need today to recover, because you all get tomorrow, right? Well done, everybody. Great. 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 The, the goal this year is to hit the ground running from game one. By the time we leave the Desert Valley, we've really got our full group, and we're fully focused on, you know, letting the league on fire from the start. We show up at this club and the expectation is that we're winning championships. We train to win championships. I love it. That's the way I, I think and that's the way where I want to be. And now it's my job to help drive that culture and that mentality with this group. Uh, and as we add fresh pieces this season, we put the past last year behind us and we're driving with that mentality that with every year is a new opportunity in MLS. Every single year is a new opportunity to be the champion. And that's how we're going to approach this season.